A country in sharp decline, a threatening, not fully understood virus. For some, that sounds like Venezuela today. But it's also the plot of a movie filmed there recently. CCTV Stephen Gibbs visited the set. A deserted highway outside the city of Maracay. This is the set of the movie Infection. Today we are in the day 33 of our shooting, a zombie road movie here in Venezuela. Making a film anywhere in the world is a laborious process. But here in Venezuela, there are additional challenges. One is that crime in this country is real, not fictional. Uh, of course, in Venezuela, one of the mo most biggest issues is the safety of the crew and, and the cast. But we have support from the local police that is uh, with us uh, most of the time. And uh, thanks God that we had no trouble until now. The lead actor is the Australian Jenna Chanel. So I play a doctor who flies in from Switzerland to find out uh, what's going on with this infection that's happening in Venezuela and she discovers that it's an epidemic and so then it's her job along with some of the local doctors and, and, and scientists to figure out um, how to fix, how to solve it, how to, how to find a cure. The film has turned out to be strangely prescient, conceived before the threat of the Zika virus was widely known. One reality the crew has had to cope with is making a low-budget movie in a country of shortages. We've been affected with the situation of the country of getting stuff, uh, props, uh, gear. They all comes from outside of the country and they are in dollars and they are very expensive. So we have to borrow things and we try to figure out a way that do things without money creatively. <laughs> yeah, very Venezuelan of us. Making a film in contemporary Venezuela is undoubtedly complicated, but there are some aspects of the current situation which make things simpler. They are, after all, making a film about an apocalypse in a country which is itself in the midst of an economic crisis. In some ways, it's a pre-made film set. Sometimes there's a lot of abandoned buildings or industries, so it helps a lot to the general to make an apocalyptic movie. So that is why the script fit the locations. Is there a message here? Is this all really a subtle commentary about contemporary Venezuela? Politics, social, uh, health issues, be interpreted in many ways so I don't want to be the guy that tells you that what the film is about I want people to explore it and have different interpretations of it it's hoped infection the movie will be released in Venezuela next year Stephen Gibbs CCTV Maracay